Welcome to this video tutorial on installing Ubuntu on the Qualcomm RB3 Gen2 development kit powered by the Qualcomm QCS6490 processor. In this video, we'll guide you through the entire installation process and highlight the key features and benefits of this powerful development kit. The Qualcomm RB3 Gen2 development kit based on the QCS6490 processor is an IoT development kit designed for high performance computing, accessibility and advanced features. The kit is available in two configurations, the core kit and the vision kit. The development kit can be used to realize multiple IoT solutions for a variety of use cases that you may have. Some of the key AI functionalities that you can leverage with the kit includes real-time object recognition, facial recognition, computer vision, real-time traffic sign recognition, and natural language processing for voice commands. These capabilities allow you to create robust application for use cases such as ruggedized handhelds, tablets, industrial scanners, dash cameras, and human machine interface systems. Before we begin setting up Ubuntu on Qualcomm RB3 Gen2 development kit, let's take a look of what comes with the kit. Out of the box, the core kit contains a device with Qualcomm RB3 Gen2, a 12 volt wall power supply, a USB-A to USB-C cable, USB-A to micro USB cable, two speakers, and a pick tool to help set dip switches. For reference, the Vision Kit includes the Qualcomm RB3 Gen2 Core Kit and the Vision Mezzanine attached. The IMX577 high resolution camera and the OV9282 tracking camera. Now let's move on to installing Minicom, configuring it and logging into the UART console. This step is crucial for communicating with your Qualcomm RB3 Gen2 development kit via the serial interface. Before you begin, connect the device and power on with the following procedure. Plug in the supplied micro USB cable to the micro USB debug port as shown. Plug in the 12 volt wall power supply. Hold the power button for two seconds until the power LED stays illuminated. Now let's proceed to the setup. First, you will have to install Minicom on your Linux host. To do this, Run the following commands. Next, let's check that the USB port is working. Run this command. This sample output should appear. Now that you have Minicom installed, let's open it by running this command. You will see a set of configuration options. Use the down key and select the serial port setup option. Now let's configure the serial port from the device by following these steps. Press A on your keyboard to set up the serial device name. And press enter to save the changes. Next, press E on your keyboard to set the baud rate to 115200. If the baud rate is not set to 115200, press the E key again. After that, press Q on your keyboard to set the configuration to 8N1. Now press Enter to save the changes. Press F on your keyboard to set the hardware flow control to No. Keep in mind, all the letters here should be in caps. Now press enter to save the changes. You will see the configuration menu again. Select the save setup as DFL option here and press enter to save the configuration. Your UART is now set up. Select exit from the configuration option to open the UART console. Let's now log in to the UART console. The login is root 
and the password is oelinux123. Nice work! With this, you will be able to run sample applications from the UART shell. Now that the UART is set up, let's download the optimized Ubuntu image for the QCS 6490. Visit the canonical Ubuntu on Qualcomm IoT site by clicking on the link or directly entering the link into your browser. Go to the option for downloading the Ubuntu server for the QCS 6490 and afterwards click the option to download the boot firmware. Once they are downloaded, ensure that you have the following files downloaded into the same directory on your host machine. Next, we will extract the raw image and copy it to the appropriate folder for flashing. This step ensures that the image is ready for installation on your Qualcomm RB3 Gen2 development kit. First, you will create a folder for the flashable images with this command. Now, extract the boot firmware tar.gz file to the flashable images folder directly with the following command. Now you can see your boot firmware files in the directory on your host machine. Next, you will replace the extracted raw program 0.xml file in the directory with the one provided in the canonical releases with this command. If the directory has the path 0.xml file, delete it using this command. Now you can get the Ubuntu raw image file by verifying the image integrity and extracting the .img.exe file. So run this command for the verification. Once that command finishes running, you will find the raw image file on your host machine and then you will copy the raw image to your flashable images folder. Now we'll get ready to flash the Ubuntu image onto the Qualcomm RB3 Gen2 development kit. First, you will enable software flashing on your kit by pressing and holding the FDL button. Then, go to your terminal and clone the Qualcomm device loader source project. Install dependencies and compile the Qualcomm DL tool with these commands. Next, use the Qualcomm DL tool to flash the system onto the board with the following commands. Once the flashing is complete, connect the USB cable to the UART port. Power on the kit with the new Ubuntu installation. And you should be able to view the boot up log on the command terminal. It is important to check the boot up log to make sure that there are no error messages and the device has booted up properly. To maximize the benefits of the Qualcomm RB3 Gen2 development kit for your use cases, you can use an optimized version of Ubuntu for the QCS 6490. The optimizations include configuring system settings and installing additional drivers or software for various IoT use cases. By adding the PPA to your system software sources, you will gain access to essential packages that enable you to make the most of Qualcomm technology software components and helping you develop related applications efficiently. We will now walk you through adding some additional PPA packages. Open your terminal and add the first command to start adding the packages. The system will then add the PPA location to the sources.list file. After it is done processing, add the following command so that your system can add the latest software updates. Now that you have successfully installed Ubuntu on your Qualcomm RB3 Gen2 development kit, you can start developing great AI applications and IoT solutions for a variety of use cases. We are excited to see what amazing applications you build. You can also engage with the Qualcomm Technologies Developer Community 
on our forum for Qualcomm Embedded Linux software. There you can participate in discussions to get even more from your development kit. Thank you for watching this tutorial on installing Ubuntu on the Qualcomm RB3 Gen 2 development kit. Happy developing!